Hello beautiful ones, beautiful dreamers within the game we call life. I hope you're doing really well. I'm going to be looking into the cards because I've had a message about someone being completely human and also completely angel. So I feel like you could have been working through your mindset when it comes to accepting the true, magical, ethereal, immortal part of your nature. I feel like you're trying to make it work in your real life and bring that gorgeous es essence in, right? So I feel like that's why Spirit's being, giving me this message because it can be difficult to truly accept our immortal nature and also accept that we are still human, right? We go through these phases where one minute we're gonna be really intense and we're really into the magical stuff and then the world comes at us and it's like, wow, I'm still physical. I've still got to get on with practical daily stuff, but yet I know all this magical stuff. They're saying it's the difference between day and night. The way we feel at nighttime with the electrons shifting in the air around us is always gonna be different than the way we feel in the daytime when the electrons are charged you know, to the sun's kind of frequency, and then we have to deal with the moon. So they're saying this is a period in your life where you've got to incorporate both truths and be a fully hybridized earth angel. Let's have a look what's coming out for this message. Page of Pentacles. So there's a gorgeous energy with this Page of Pentacles. What is that? It's kind of like a little sugar bat or something like that maybe a little it's not a meerkat i don't think but there's a lovely innocent energy here of you maybe doing your research collecting data i'm getting downloads you could have quite physical downloads like when you hear something on tv then you get the shivers going through you stuff like that i feel like you've had a lot of confirmations in the physical with synchronicity signs and symbols and then sometimes you come across somebody who thinks all of this stuff is absolute crap and because they're so convinced that they're right, and because they're so convinced that science is all there is, and because they're only convinced in the physical, the fact that they believe themselves, it can rub off on us and make us feel like, are we crazy for believing this stuff? Are we crazy for knowing in our immortal home that is backstage, that is permanent? Because we have to deal with loads of people who are so hypnotized with the physical that they can make us feel a little bit crazy sometimes. So I feel like, Something like that has been going on, but Spirit has the authority. King of Wands energy, beautiful lion energy coming out on the table, reminding us that the things that are unseen is where all the magic actually is. Nothing could be physical without the non-physical counterpart. And I feel like the King of Wands is here saying you have to be your own spiritual authority. The color purple could be really relevant to you and also the root chakra. You could be researching into your ancestry, and I'm not talking recent ancestry, I'm talking really deeply rooted beginnings, the beginnings of your tribe. There's something about the tribe you come from that's really important here. They're giving me this energy of like the original tribe. So you could be from a tribe of original natives. So you could be maybe you're Native American. Maybe you were part of the Druids before the Romans came and invaded Britain but you are from somewhere where there's a really strong original tribe is what I'm getting here. And they want you to stand in your sovereignty, not take too much notice of the people who have absolutely no awareness of magic, right? Until spirit comes along and forces them into believing the truth, they won't believe it. So this is about you being fresh, fresh as a daisy, a new daisy that's popped up out of the ground, fully embracing your angelic side, fully embracing your human side, and walking forward with that unified truth is what I'm getting here. Queen of Pentacles, I don't read reversals. This is the Queen of Pentacles. So this is about you creating something in your life that feels good for you. And often that will be the lifestyle that doesn't correlate to the dollhouse way of life we've kind of been indoctrinated in, right? So this is about creating your own heaven on earth in a beautiful way. And I feel like this is tribal because they're giving me reference to the bull. And I don't feel like this is a male bull. We do get female cows or whatever who have horns, right? And this is the queen of pentacles. But the point I'm making is, you know, we go back far enough in history and there are cultures that used to worship the bull. And this was very common and it could be something to do with, I don't know, some sort of age of Taurus or, or some period of time where it was so important for us to be agricultural. But I'm, I'm feeling something 
to do with nature here for you and being much more connected to your roots than you are to the modern era. I'm getting this energy of if we don't connect to our roots, we don't get the fruit. So I feel like you're connecting with your roots, doing research and really kind of figuring out how to pad your own nest here. We've got the nine of pentacles and the ten of wands. Spirit's saying it may feel like it's harder work getting ourselves into a position where we're fully independent of other people's ideas of what suits them. There's something like you not blending too much with things that are only temporary because the Nine of Pentacles is about permanence. It's a Virgo energy. And with the Queen of Pentacles here, I feel like you're being asked maybe to step further into the energies of these original tribes or of your unique tree of life here rather than getting swallowed up by things that change a lot. And I feel like you're handling this really well with the Ten of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you've taken a pathway of independence that may feel like you know what, I'd rather have the burden and have my freedom. It's like short-term burden for long-term permanence is what I'm getting here. We've got the Three of Pentacles, so this would be your ancestors working with you to bring. I'm getting your idealized reality into fruition, and we need as many people as possible who've got that beautiful innocence to truly bring through the magic because there are just too many rotten apples on the planet, too many people causing chaos. We need the angels to fully believe in ourselves in ourselves and you know we need you to fully believe in yourself is what they're saying to me here three of pentacles energy you've got a lot of energies working with you and again i feel like you're getting a lot of physical symbols this isn't just you getting signs psychically in your mind this is things showing up in your physical reality just at the right time in the right way to show you that you're right to give you a real succinct physical idea of the universe supporting you they're saying it's real you've seen the signs you know it's real just this energy coming out on the table so i feel like your energy is a perfect balanced vibration for the world and i feel like you're fair i feel like you are quite a neutral force of energy and uh, you provide a cooling kind of elixir to the planet queen of wands energy to match that king of wands so I'm getting this as a spiritual family thing to get you feeling confident in your angelic ways and to get you to accept both sides of yourself, the physical and the non-physical, and to marry them together, essentially. Justice can be about a contract. And I feel like you're finding your peace and your balance with how to really integrate your magic into the world in a way that is comfortable to you, is logical also to you, not just, you know, we, we talk about magical things on this channel but I want it to be normal for people to expect miracles. I want it to be normal for people to know the power of their mind. And I feel like you're bringing this into a beautiful, succinct balance. We've got that Queen of Wands down there showing me that you are going to bring this into fruition. And you're going to do it with a lot of flair and confidence because I feel like you doing research is going to make you consciously aware of connections you've got. And once we're consciously con aware of these connections, it makes the connection even more powerful. So you may, you may be having something revealed to you in a way you didn't expect, and it could make you feel completely different about yourself. This could be to do with your cultural identity or something like that. You may find out you had a relative you didn't expect to have or something that makes you see yourself differently. I feel like there's a lot to be revealed here. Show me the fool. Yeah, there's so much effort being put into this new start for you a fresh way of viewing things and the fool is the one who understands his or her immortality and moves with that energy of you know what everyone can think i'm crazy everyone can think i'm the fool everyone can think i'm like the court jester of the olden days but actually i know the truth and i'm i'm bursting forward in confidence and majesty knowing the angelic truth that i am a cherubima and you've come to this earth to bring your own gorgeous elixir onto the planet and i feel like it's time for you to really kind of dig in because these physical energies up here these pentacle energies show me that you should be comfortable with what you've built and you should be really confident in the energies and the communications that you've experienced we've got the knight of cups here next to the full so this is moving forward in happiness here some people read the knight of cups as an offer coming in and certainly you know what is the world without other people but whether this is an offer coming in or not, there's a movement of emotion here in a really positive, beautiful way. Let me show you that little frog. Anyone want to kiss? Mwah. Okay, right. 
So let's clarify. Get a bit carried away there. Let's see. I want to nose into this Queen of Wands and the Fool. It's such a feeling of joy over here, and I feel like there's this energy that wants to remind you of your solidity, to remind you of how precious your energy is, because there's just so much stability up here that I feel like something's going to smooth out for you. Show me. What's this information with the Page of Pentacles? Queen of Cups here. So there's an energy of fondness and an energy that dotes on you here is what I'm getting. This could be a grandparent, a great-grandparent, or a connection ancestrally that's even further back than that. And I feel like this energy wants you to become aware of it. You could be doing a guided meditation, a past life guided hypnosis, something like that. Or you could even be doing a DNA test. But there's definitely an energy that wants you to be aware of... This could be, you know, a positioning you had that gives you clear insight into your authority because I feel like there's an energy that wants you to see yourself clearly and uh, feel very confident with who you are. We've got the three of pentacles again here. Again, they're giving me that word angelic and this affection that's coming off the queen of cups is just monumental. So I feel like this is a guiding energy, a very, I would say an older feminine energy that's guiding you. And they're saying reach out for any goddess energies that, that you know, that pop into your head or that you resonate with. You have to verbally or in your mind verbally request uh, connection is what I'm getting. So there could be one goddess in particular that you connect with. Could be Freya, could be Kali Ma, could be a lot of different ones that are available to you non-physically. But I, I definitely feel like there's an elevated consciousness as well as this genetic link with this Queen of Cups. I feel like there's an elevated consciousness that wants to work with you. This could be a very Nordic energy. I've got this Queen of Wands again. I'm going to leave her there because this is an energy that really wants you to connect with this fiery Aries energy and be confident. I think be confident while you've got the chance to be, right? There are so many distractions all around us, but if you close them off and build your own little beautiful sanctuary, maybe there's energies that have been weighing on your heart that actually aren't that relevant to your journey. And especially with modern day media, and all this talk of spirituality, there's a lot of healthy stuff going on out there, but there's also a lot of expectation for people to conform and to all be the same version of spirituality. And spirit saying, no, we've got our own unique Garden of Edens in our own unique way to create. We are supposed to be different. We are supposed to bring variety. So I feel like you branching out on your own maybe gave you a heavier burden, but it's worth it to hold on to that self-respect with the Ten of Wands. The Wands are all about, all about respect, and we've got the Queen of Wands twice here. So you've got powerful deity energy available. You could identify as an earth angel, and what they're saying here is that often the mind will segment things so that we feel like deities are more shamanic and that angels are more to do with maybe the saints or, you know, a more religion rather than spirituality. Spirit's saying it's all available to you and you're going to harmonize all of these different mindsets. So maybe they're not so compartmentalized, right? Because our left brain, our linear rational mind will always organize and group data. Spirit wants to smash those walls down and get things running smoothly for somebody out there. Seven of Pentacles here. So this is an investment in regality is what I'm getting. We've got all these sovereign wands kind of energies all over the table here. So this is the royalty of the lion essentially is what I'm getting. And you're allowed to be tough and also be an earth angel. You're allowed to acknowledge the animal part of your nature, the shamanic part of your nature, and also be an earth angel. We've got the two of Pentacles here. So again, I feel like you're being tugged in two directions spiritually, maybe. And spirit wants you to consolidate it and put your own needs first. Remember who you are because the outside world can have such a strong influence on us. And oftentimes the outside world doesn't actually care about our personal happiness or what we've come to the earth to do. They just care about being popular, right? So spirit's saying, please don't fall down that alleyway, right? Please stick to the divine and beautiful pathway that your soul has set up for yourself. Three of swords, 10 of wands, let's have a look. So you could have gone through something particularly heartbreaking that gave you the direction to really build your own sovereign, beautiful life. We've got the ace of wands here. So again, that wand energy, you being the powerful focuser of reality, that's coming out very powerfully here. You could have decided to be an entrepreneur or do something alone, right? Rather than risk heartbreak, and I feel like you've 
really anchored in your spiritual connection here with the Three of Pentacles twice. Page of Swords energies here. And the Three of Cups, show me. Again, it's like Spirit stepping in with the Three of Pentacles to work with you rather than... This is almost an energy with the Page of Swords and the Three of Cups of the crowds of, of modernity and how our energies mix with different people. And we are highly influenced by the magnetic fields of others. So I feel like you're cutting off this sort of undue influence here. Show me this Three of Cups. Eight of Swords. Yeah, it could be a trap. You know, there's a lot of things that seem popular at the time. And then as time goes on, it's like... You kind of wasted your time, right? This is about family first. It's about getting your house in order and serving yourself and your spiritual tribe before society because the way we group things in our mind decides our reality. If we decide that our number one priority is our higher self, that automatically covers our bases when it comes to our priority when we're manifesting our reality. So we want to have our house in order. We want to know who we are on a soul level and represent that. And I feel like here, these are undue influences with the Eight of Swords, Three of Cups. This could slow down our spiritual pathway if we decide to get distracted by things that are doomed to sort of fall out of circulation. Some things don't change, and that includes universal law. So they want you to follow this pathway of universal law. Show me justice here. The Hermit. See, this is doing it your own way, your own style, your own beautiful angelic way. Showing this Queen of Wands because I feel like you're going to release yourself in some way. Queen of Wands, the Fool, Knight of Cups. I feel like this is all about you bursting into a new storyline. You could be adjusting your look or your self-image or creating a new image for yourself so that, you know, you, you can see visually that you've transformed somehow. And I feel like this is going to... Knight of Cups twice. This is going to really... Uh, concretize it to you that you're in this new reality that you've had a hand in creating you are one of the agents of the divine you are one of the ones who because you've got the faith to believe in that which is unseen you help move such beautiful energies onto the earth plane if they can't get new energies in through their earth angels you just can't get new energies in so your energy is so so valued and so precious here show me the full yeah, I feel like that's the biggest challenge for a lot of earth angels to actually bring in that angelic energy in a way that they can blend it in reality. Two of swords here. Show me. The devil. And the eight of wands. You're going to slip right past something here. We've got two of swords with the devil. So there's some character or some energy that isn't going to see how you move past them. This is almost like you being invincible, just man managing to get past something, escape something before they even see. That's, that's incredible. So someone's not going to get their heads up about what you're doing. This could be a spiritual energy or this could be an energy physically in your life, but they're not going to know. Something's being withheld from somebody. So if there's anything that's been playing on your mind when it comes to maybe an enemy or, you know, some chaos causer... Energy is going to be hidden from them while you move ahead is what I'm getting here. Knight of Cups energy twice. Your self-love is going to get something moving in a beautiful, big, and amazing way. Show me. What's this Knight of Cups? Nine of Wands here. Boundaries. Your boundaries are going to be the most beautiful thing you can do for yourself. Because there's a lot of siphoning of energy. There's a lot of leaking of energy. And I feel like Spirit doesn't want you leaking that energy anymore. We've got the Knight of Pentacles here, which is all about practicality. And I feel like boundaries for you. And this is boundaries against other people's thoughts and opinions as well. People who don't believe in non-physical. People who've closed out the spiritual aspect of themselves because it makes them feel safer to just believe in physicality. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups. These are people that Spirit isn't... Spirit's never disappointed with anyone, but it is really stupid of humans not to believe in the non-physical counterpart and i feel like it's getting to that point now where the the tables are going to turn like there are too many of us that are very aware that psychic stuff is real and i feel like people who've been crapping on us and acting like we're crazy they're going to end up being so disappointed because they are the ones who have to dominate people intellectually and act like they're right and correct you with science and i feel like yeah 
These days are over now. The earth angels are moving on with their own unique ideas, being so well protected from devilish energies. And we're balancing things out in a way that's benefiting the future in an amazing way here. Really bringing things into practicality with the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like there's going to be big disappointment to the people who mocked spiritual people, to the people who thought that earth angels weren't real, to the people who mocked the concept of star seeds. I feel like it's going to be rubbed in their face that actually they were wrong. And actually, they're going to have to experience the same feeling that they wanted us to feel. They're going to have to feel that feeling because a lot of people that criticize spiritual people, I mean, you know, they... Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do, right? But they they love feeling like they're more intelligent than other people. So it's going to be hard for them to take it when they realize they were wrong all along. We've got first light. That just fell on the floor. You saw me picking it up, getting distracted. The eggs are ready to be hatched. We've got a little nest here. And I feel like there's this nesting period for you before you burst forward with something. In full confidence, lovely lovely emotional energy that you're conjuring up in hermit mode everything we appreciate we gain energy by our our true appreciation of it and you can't trick the universe right when we genuinely love and we genuinely appreciate things we pull in a lot of etheric energy and i i feel like you're particularly powerful at doing this and this is a new cycle of you really integrating those energies that's what i feel like here Queen of Wands is a fresh energy, Aries energy, the energy of spring, right? So I feel like it's kind of going to be springtime in your life to really ignore the people who are locked in science and, and allow yourself to be who you truly are at an immortal level. They're giving me the word fairy here. We are that etheric. I mean, people think fairies are a joke. They need to watch out because in Irish culture, fairies are no joke. They're very powerful and they'll get you, right? So we've got transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. So, excuse me, I'm going to cough. This is looking absolutely beautiful for someone taking the plunge, being in that phoenix energy, loving yourself so powerfully that those people who, you know, make you feel like you're crazy or make you doubt yourself, they're no longer going to be relevant. You're going to be walking in beauty here. You're going to be relaxed. And I feel like you're going to be coming into contact with other people who understand you perfectly. People you don't need to explain yourself to. They too are cherubima and they feel you, baby. You don't need to explain yourself to people who can feel your energy. So... It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be brilliant. Hold that vision. Hold that faith. Walk in beauty, you beautiful angelic hybrid. I hope this reading's helped somebody. I love you guys loads. Mwah.